cute hot dog ring flower thingies. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo facts. Twelve. Hello, everyone. To make this, you'll need some bread dough or some pizza dough. I use this Pillsbury pizza dough in a can just because it's fast and convenient. I unrolled half of it onto a cutting board and then I cut it to the length of the hot dog. And pretty much all you have to do is just cover each hot dog with a portion of dough. And once you do that, just make sure the ends are sealed and the seam is completely sealed, pinched shut. And once you're done that, you can start to slice it. Now you need to slice through the top part of the dough, slice through the hot dog, but do not go all the way to the cutting board. You want to leave that bottom piece of dough intact, as you can see here. So we slice through the top, slice through the hot dog, but leave the bottom intact so that it's all attached. And then just bend this into a circle shape. Now if you can imagine this as a lovely hot dog flower, each of the little hot dog pieces is a petal. So all you have to do is just give them all a twist. And I suggest you twist in the same direction for each one. It just looks better when it's all done. So once the little hot dogs have all been twisted and turned so that the flat side is facing the cutting board, just go around and pinch in between each of the petals just to make sure it's nicely sealed. And then brush the whole thing with a little bit of beaten egg. This will give it a nice golden brown color while it bakes. Sprinkle it with a little bit of Italian seasoning if you'd like or whatever seasoning you want to use. And then with a little bit of cheese. I used marble cheese, but you could use mozzarella or cheddar. Now after some trial and error, I found that it was best to cut the hot dogs into seven pieces, which means six cuts. This made for a really nice flower shape and it also made it so each of the little hot dog petals was a really nice bite sized portion. I also found it was better to do the cutting and the arranging right on the cookie sheet you're going to bake it on because it just means you don't have to transfer it and take the chance to mess up your flower shapes. Bake these at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes or so until the dough is nicely golden brown and the cheese is melted. Take them out and serve them. I think these would be great with some marinara sauce or even just some plain old ketchup on the side. And what's nice about them is that each of the little petal shapes breaks off into a nice bite sized portion. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you're not subscribed to my channel, do that now by clicking right on that subscribe button on your screen or see the link in the description box below the video. Just click on show more I come up with new videos every single week. Bye-bye.